you guys kind of got Zach Godley a little bit. Is it? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. The pitcher that came out tonight was was pretty good, and uh, we had a tough time with them. I think we our mentality wasn't wasn't as good as it has been in the past, but we we'll get them tomorrow. So you stayed uh, fairly busy behind the plate today. Have you ever had a game where you've had three putouts at the plate like that? I don't think so. Uh, guys were just coming home, and uh, my mentality was that I was just going to block the plate, the plate's mine, and uh, I, I treat it like they're trying to run me over, so I'm bracing myself, trying to make them not be able to get to the plate. As a, as a catcher, is that something I, I don't want to use look forward to, but do you, you kind of like the collision and, and like protecting the plate, or is that something you're like, man, I wish I could have avoided that? No, nah, I love it. It's, it's fun. It's fun to be able to say I'm more of a man than you. But <laughs> That uh that second uh, put out was a little more violent than the first two. Did did you actually get hit before you caught the ball, or what kind of happened on the second one? Yeah, the throw the throw was a little late, but um, yeah, he was running home and he hit me, and the ball almost came out that time, but I held on to it luckily. So did you really expect with all three of them? I think got cut off in the infield, like none of them were straight to you. Like, did you really expect when you see the ball in and the, and the cutoff guy's glove that you know you guys are gonna have time to get them at the plate? Uh, a couple, of the first two, I didn't think we had a chance. Like, but AJ made great throws, or Smart made a great throw, and AJ made a great throw, so we got them. What were some of the things said to you once you got back to the dugout after all three of those those plays? Way to hang in there. <laughs> Team was, I guess. Pumped up after that. From an offensive standpoint, was it was it frustrating at all not being able to get the bats on on Ole Miss's kid tonight, or was it just one of those days where he was hitting his spots and really had stuff going? Uh, I feel like we came out kind of flat as a team, but um, yeah, we just went up there and took bad swings and in good counts in our favor, and we took bad swings. But I mean, he was he was a good pitcher. He's a good pitcher. Anything else, guys? Okay, favorites. Three put outs at the plate like that? No, I haven't. That was, that was big plays on defensive part, especially early to the game. So it was pretty, pretty good. In back to back innings, the, the first two, does that really kind of fire you guys up? Yeah, that was, I mean, I, what I thought it would be like a momentum changer because like it kept on swinging back and forth and just, you know, have those play to the play. That's like a, a full defense thing from the outfield to AJ to Hauser, just making those great plays. You guys had a little bit of trouble with, with Ole Miss's guy. You got that hit in the ninth. Was he just have his stuff and hit his spots, or what was it about tonight? I felt like we kind of weren't, like, as a whole team, like, trusting probably the, um, the coaches when it come to, like, knowing what, like, what he had. Like, the coaches knew, like, when he was what he was going to throw just because of, like, what type of pitcher he was, you know, behind the count, he's going to throw a fastball, up ahead to count, he's throwing all speed. And, I mean, he had, of course, I'm not taking nothing from him. He had a great fastball and a decent changeup, but we just couldn't string some hits together. As a team, how do you guys play this one Ole Miss, a good team, a ranked team, but you guys had – you know, three game winning streak coming to this one. Is this one more frustrating, or you know, losses are going to happen? You got to move on. Well, I mean, we we went through this last weekend. Where we lost a Friday night game, so I mean, we just need to come back out. You know, Nick Will's going to pitch his tail off tomorrow, so we're going to be behind him and hopefully get him some run support. Does this game kind of epitomize Coach Toronto's plan to, to save Godley for Sunday? You know, this game they're throwing the race. He's got his stuff going. You guys still have your race yet to throw. I mean, I'm I'm 100 percent towards that. I mean, I've always thought you know, that's a great idea, and just to have that now is just you know. That's, that's kind of what we had in mind. Like now we have Nick Will pitching, he's going to shut it down. And then Golly, if he pitches anything like he did last weekend, we'll be all right. The, the outfield really in general kind of flexing their arms. You it contributed to a relay throughout the plate, center field, right field. You guys all kind of contributed to that one. How do you guys look at that as a, as a group? I mean, it's great. We, we work on that a lot, just like especially we call it bonsai with me. Like when I just get it quick into AJ and – AJ has one of the best ones on the team, and just let him kind of do the work. And that that kind of went with the, like all three players. So, good job. Thanks,